SEC matchup with the Razorbacks of Arkansas. And we're underway at Rupp Arena. Our officials, Doug Shows, Vladimir Boyard Tadal, and Jeb Hartness. It's going to be interesting to see what type of tempo Arkansas decides to play. I don't think they want to go up and down with Kentucky today. L. Ellis, nice drive to open things up for the Razor. Have a fresh possession. Three-pointer won't go. That's a possession that Arkansas did a great job of preventing any drive and space opportunities for Kentucky. That's their strength. Tremont Mark, pull-up jumper. Kentucky does not want to let those guys get it going at the start. And that'll be... SEC Player of the Week for his performance last week, and it was sensational. 42 in one game, 36 in the other. DJ Wagner. The distributor, not the three-point shooter. Right. Only a 27% three-point shooter. That's his 21st of the year. He's good in ISO right here. And a second turnaround jumper for Tremont Mark. That's what he can do. Tremont Mark can make tough, difficult shots. That was good defense. He makes tough shots. Here's an open three. Two for two. Take those shots early. He's, he's dealt with a little bit of an injury problem this year, and he's healthy, I think, for the first time. There has not been a game all year where Kentucky was 100% healthy. Yeah. <laughs> nice feed inside. Good look. And the score. Both teams are trying to defend without fouling because Arkansas gets the foul line more than anybody in the country. And I think Kentucky wants to make sure that they have to take difficult shots, but they don't go to the foul line. They not only get to the foul line, they make them when they get there. Boy, red hot. But this is the team that I think we all thought we would see from Arkansas early in the season. And the first turnover is Kentucky's on the run. And the lay-in by Brazil, who's got six early. <laughs> you don't usually get that kind of ovation when somebody goes to the scorer's table. You do when Reed Shepard does, though, and <laughs> yes. you're in Kentucky. Homegrown, and they take pride in him. And a whistle on the drive. And that's important for this young Kentucky team. I know Cal's worried about it. <laughs> Justin Edwards, meanwhile, second of the two. Even since with the rebound, he also a freshman at 7-2. And he gets the ball back on the other end, and he'll go to the free throw line. Up and down the floor we go, as Jay said. Early. Arkansas. They Vladimir, 86 episode of Tracker, starring Justin Hartley tomorrow after the equalizer on Rebound, picked up by Ellis. They survived one there. Ellis scored earlier on that drive, and he got another one. That's the same move. Really dangerous because they've got guards in Mark and Battle that can really score. He only scores about six a game, and he's on that already. Dillingham off the window. He's so creative. There's so many ways. He's a great defender with great length. Reeves. Up and under. Antonio Reeves has been so consistent. What a great senior leader. Could be one of the all-time scorers under Cal in this program. He does it all. And one of their best on-the-ball defenders. Kentucky's got its first lead. Arkansas try to change that, and they do with a three from Mark. Kentucky does not want to let those two get it going. Ray Mitchell has missed some time with injuries in the lineup. Reeves to draw a foul. That'll be on Mark, and it'll send him to the three more time. Antonio Reeves is improved. Now, so Devo Davis will not be playing the point for Arkansas. Devo way out on top with Dillingham on him. And Reeves caused the steal. He'll get the pass and the flip. Ivicic up top is a great passer and roller. Gonna be a fine. Teams chart that. And the other night has been out with some injury problems. A shoulder. Back. Look, the Wildcats hop on the floor, I think, is their best lineup. If they're going to really advance in March, this is the group that's got to play the majority of the minutes. Nice move on the inside by Mark. And he's got seven. Defend again. He's got to get their hands back and avoid the contact. The arrows checks back in for Kentucky. So two big guys on the floor for the Cats. 
Nice spin move. And up and over. And a chance for a three-point play. 26% free throw shooter. And we're done. Last year, the Sweet 16. This year, they'd have to win the SEC tournament to get there. Dillingham pull up from 15. And we bat off to the Hogs. Dialed in defensively. All the way. And for the can't guard him with one person. Dillingham doubled down on the baseline. No call on that collision. And Wagner has got three threes. Wow. Decide you're gonna take it away from that guy. And somebody said, well, why wouldn't you adjust? Because then Dillingham can get it going. As I said, Shepard can. 27% three-point shooter, and he's perfect right now. Turn jumper. That's a tough foul. Going to call it on Shepard. He didn't like the conversation that Cal had with Doug. He doesn't. He wants his time. Caleb battles on a tear. He's at 78 points in his last line and he gets to the basket and he drills threes. His last four games, 18, 15, 42, and then 36 in the loss to Vandy earlier this week. Devo Davis, and he's going to finish it. With the left hand. Didn't play last game against Kentucky. And that pass, almost another turnover. They'll reset things with D.J. Wagner. Bradshaw lost it, got it back. Here's Reeves for three. Long ball, Antonio Reeves. Reeves. Evo Davis left Reeves to help on that pick and roll, and he shouldn't have left him. Quick three-pointer by Davenport. He was looking for a foul. What a pass underneath. Bradshaw will slam it. Shepard delivered. Kentucky fans loving the fact that teams playing defense. That's been one of the problems this year. And a rejection underneath by Pierre. And they're going to guard him, and he is long. Seven foot, seven inch wingspan. That looked pretty good, didn't it? Ah, no, they're well, right. That was they're a right. bang bang play. They're right. It, it, it hit the backboard, and it was on its way down. Yep. Good that call was a good by call. the officials. Boy, to see that happen that yeah, fast, you didn't say losing. that then. It doesn't keep you from losing <laughs> your mind, though. And another Kentucky turnover. <laughs> They'll lay it in on the rebound by battle. This looks like under eight to go. Beat off the dribble. Excuse me, Jay. Under eight to go, first half. Extra pass. Bradshaw. Hook. Got it. And one. Him and they fear Shepard. Aaron Bradshaw caps off his three point two. L. Ellis back at the point. I like this. This is an ISO here. Battle working against Shepard. Up under. Oh my goodness, with a left hand. That, the arrow. Notice that Shepard and Dillingham are not getting the threes. That's what Muss is such a great tactician at. That's a two because those two love to take over games. Shepard in and out on the three. Offensive board goes to Kentucky and Reeves tries a scoop shot. And now hitting the deck after getting the rebound earlier. And the extra feed from Agnenso. The arrow. Arkansas wants to travel because he went to the floor and they're going to get a technical. That's going to be on Eric Musselman. A technical foul was assessed to the Arkansas coach. They wanted, they wanted a travel right here. I think the officials are saying he didn't have control of the ball. If he would have controlled it and gone to the floor, then that would be a travel. But I think they're, they're ruling that he didn't have control of it. Well, the technical. And Antonio Territor is with us. Gino, what would you think of that call? I agree. Important possession here. And an isolating battle again. And foul on Kentucky on the drive. Will be on DJ Wagner. That's his second. Caleb's one on two from the free throw line so far today. Make it two hour. Rupp Arena in Lexington, Kentucky, where we have been seesawing. Now they move it and get another ISO. They'll look for battle on ISO or a high ball screen here. Ellis found a little seam, got through the big guy, but didn't get it to drop. And now a collision on the sideline. Numbers against Mississippi State is the 89 thriller in Starkville.
and the timing of it and in the slam. Ahead on the run and the lay in doesn't go. Edwards rimmed out on him. Battle the other way, hangs in the air and delivers. A great pass. Not an assist though, it wouldn't go. <laughs> Battle, battles underneath. And the NCAA men's select. Kentucky and tipping them on the perimeter and taking Kentucky's three-point shooters out of the game so far. Mitchell, left-handed pass into Bradshaw in traffic. And Bradshaw scores off the window and a foul. And Shepard's not getting it going, and that's Arkansas. Didn't go. Bradshaw snatches it off. For the Kentucky rebound. This is where LL's got to be smarter as a point guard. Shepard pull up three. Got it. His first basket. That decision by L. Shepard all the way to the other side of the court. Got it back. Three again. Yes, again. And Kentucky gets in. Again, clears the glass. And now you got to guard in transition again. And they get this ball popping, driving, kicking. Oh, Reeves with a little look. And then a little lane. And it, they're not a three point shooting team. They need to get to the foul line and they get the ball in the paint. Cats biggest lead of six. Cut in half by that three-pointer by Davenport. That's the shooter. Jeremiah Davenport's the shooter. Bradshaw's going to try a triple. Something going to the basket. Battle. Tough shot. Kentucky looking to run again. Bradshaw fouled before the shot. Kentucky's made him pay on every one of them transition operating. Bradshaw hasn't played a lot, and man, he has to run this down to the end. Kentucky's going zone. Don't take an early shot. Well, they take an early shot, but they hit it <laughs> for three. <laughs> Jermon Mark, his second triple. Unless you're going to make it three, then take an early <laughs> shot. <laughs> and now Kentucky can play for the final shot. I wouldn't guard him that far away from the basket. Just opens up driving lanes for him. Back it off right to the scoring area, which is right above the three-point line. Dillingham gives it back to Reeves on the drive. Loose ball. Arkansas trying to handle it. They've got a shot at it here. Almost went. Great finish for Arkansas. They got a three. They got a stop. They had most of their points early. And he's back out there as the second half's underway. Kentucky trying to go to 11 and 5 in the SEC. Arkansas at 5 and 10, playing some really good basketball here today in what has been an inconsistent year. Wagner, he's got another three. He's created it, uh, him uh, into a shooter, and I give him a lot of credit. Four triples for DJ today, and it gives Kentucky matching their biggest advantage up eight. Battle in a lot of traffic through the foul. That's, I don't think they can hang with Arkansas the way they're playing today. Jay talked about their numbers in that half, and six out of seven, and now seven out of eight for Caleb Battle from the stripe. Point shooting contest with Kentucky. Antonio Reeves, Kentucky's leading scorer, up off the window, goes wide. He has been so consistent all year, leading scorer in the first himself into an NBA player this year in his fifth year of college basketball. Here's a breakout for Arkansas. Block shot by Fierro. A dude, Fierro, does so much for this Kentucky team. It doesn't show up in the stats. Wagner off the window. Got another one. 14 for DJ Wagner. And the lead is swelled to double digits. DJ used to being a scorer in high school. He's more of a facilitator in high school. Here, you see Arkansas driving the ball, getting to the rim. This is how they play. Eight of nine. He is 45 of his last 49 free throws. <laughs> Just added another one. That's why he's got to get to the foul line. He's automatic. They got to keep it close here. Eight-point game. Arkansas got to start getting some stops. Keep this around five or six. The arrow in traffic through the foul. See, Fierro knows he's playing with shooters around him, so he knows. Need a game for the Wildcats. 
And off the mark on his first one on Pluto TV. There's hundreds of it. Got the second. But Duke Dio is so valuable for this team because at times when they're taking away shooters, he can drive it and score, and he saved a, a breakaway basket with a block shot. Nice look inside. Beautiful dish. And the finish by Mitchell. That's his first basket. The weak side defense has to be there to take away that roll guy. They worked on that in practice yesterday. And there's a rejection by Arkansas. And now the Hogs looking to run. Battle up and under and in. That's their game. Getting This is how they played Duke. They played with some size. Brazil was great in that game. Brazil hasn't done much yet. They can still get him going. Back-to-back -back turnovers by Kentucky. Nice job by the Arkansas defense. We're going to capitalize on the other end. They like this matchup. This will be an ISO. Mark against Ivasic. Up with a left hand. Easy. And they're getting better. By tournament time, they're teams that could be playing like one, two seats. And the surprise of all of that group, obviously, is the Gamecocks of South Carolina. And it takes away Kentucky's transition offense. There's 10 out of 11 from the stripe. Oh, he went to Syracuse. He's a great player. He's a little kid. Little did I know. Two minutes for the Razorbacks. See if Rob Dillingham gets involved. Going to kick it out. Three-pointer. Left wing, no good. Hogs can lead with this trip if they score. And they do. Debo Davis in transition, great find, and he can create havoc defensively. Debo can guard anybody. He's doing a good job on Dillingham. First lead of the second half for the Razorbacks, and there's a runner on the baseline. There's a score for you. Just as year, but it's funny when guys like that get in these environments, they forget about everything, and they go back to who they are. Debo Davis is an assassin defensively. This guy, the freshman's an assassin. <laughs> Mid-range jumper by Shep. Him to step up, and only, only as a freshman, but I think it's because he, he grew up watching Kentucky basketball. He understood it before he got Ooh, here. They might take a look at this one. It's an offensive fight. Attentional elbow. Here's another look. This is going to be a flagrant one. That is definitely going to be a flagrant one. It could be a flagrant two. They, if they deem that to be intentional. And the crowd reacting, they're seeing it on the... I think where he is today, you're right. Four out of five. Early in his career. Got them both. That's a pure stroke. It's a great matchup. Watch this matchup. And he got the best of it. Steal from behind. By Debo. There's not many people that have as good a hands as Reed Shepard, but Debo Davis is one of them. See if they can get those points back. Yeah, they're going to have to turn them from the free throw line. Tough to guard. Kyle Mitchell's a good free throw shooter. He's in Fayetteville. It's still only about three hours apart. I don't know if they have any separation <laughs> issues. 12, 12 points, 13 rebounds, yep, four, four blocks. blocks. He led him in every category. He's dealing with a fire in and out on three. Bradshaw gets the offensive rebound in traffic. And he's fouled. Started on Yenso. But Bradshaw's been the guy that's given Arkansas the most. The team is so good. And there was a situation a couple of games ago when he put his arm around a teammate and kind of said, getting his own rebound and getting it back out to battle, battle Mr. Three. Schimper, and here's the pass ahead to Reeves. Reeves had it stripped, but he's fouled. This is a situation I'm talking about where a corner three, what can they do with it? Reed Shepard gets it in the backcourt, and he thinks he stressed that entire year. Get the outlet pass, man. Get everything going. He will. It sure has, boy. He's got vision, and he's got an ability to put the ball on a dime. Nice look inside. Easy basket for Brazil. That's his first score of the second half. Maybe this will get Brazil going. Trevor Brazil can really score. He can hit threes. He's got some foul trouble issues right now, but... We are down to the 12-minute mark. Fierro on a runner. Got it. Big time touch by Fierro. Almost had a turnover there. Nate turned it into a bucket. Keep taking the ball to the basket. Keep attacking the rim. Nice move inside around Bradshaw on the score for Mitchell, who just needs us to keep moving up in the standings, get to that top four, maybe get a double bye for the SEC tournament. And we got a technical. Ah. 
That's something that happened in the front court. I didn't see it. I was still watching the back court. Reed Shepard bringing the ball up. It's got to be on Arkansas, right? Two number twos holding on to each other. I see where it happened. Yeah. And then it, then it got as Arkansas as they can regain, re tied or regain the lead. Keep attacking the ring. Keep attacking. Don't settle. He can. Yes. For three. Nice touch pass. Didn't end up being a basket, but it could have been a turnover. Nice ball movement by Arkansas. Battle. Leans in. Got it. I thought he got it. Which is unlike him. Jamal Mark denying Antonio Reeves. Wagner on a runner. No, it's a lob. And a foul underneath. There's going to be on Mitchell, I think. Devo Davis on Billingham. Mitchell had four fouls. Boston's got three. One of two. It's the same. Brazil fouled out in only about 20 minutes of their last game. Davenport's a shooter. Battles the driver. And battle through the foul. Get, it, get to the free throw line where he's been living today. He just keeps nailing them, too. He missed his first one. At but he uses his jump shot to set up his drive, which makes him really difficult to guard. Yeah. What, do you have 42 in that game? Yeah. Reeves. That's what Gold was just talking about. Get Antonio Reeves involved. They tried to run a screening. Don't settle. Almost a walk. Davenport for three. Got it. Shooters shooting. Lawson rolls. He's not a shooter. Kicks it to Davenport. The layup. And now it's Kentucky going the other way. No foul call there. And still loose ball. Everybody's all over the place. They almost that Antonio Reeves in our lap. And finally at the finish, it's Arkansas. <laughs> Is the best I've seen anybody guard Kentucky. They are doing an outstanding job of keeping them in front of them. Smart. Shooter. Davenport's going to try it again. Got another one. Ooh. your back advantage. Arkansas has to be smart here and just keep them in front of them. Don't foul. Well, here's what happened. A couple hasn't made shots this year. Here, the way they're playing, this looks like an NCAA tournament team right now. DJ Wagner, 16 points on the afternoon. They like the matchup with Tremont Mark against DJ Wagner. Wow, great speed and a lay-in by Mark. You can tell by when they clear the side out, that's Musselman telling them, I like that matchup, take him. What a pass down low to Reeves from Shepard. Antonio Edison. Shepard thought about it. And going to be a foul on the drive on Lawson, and that's going to be four on him. The game doesn't get out of hand where I have to use it, but I don't think he's going to win. Cal's looking for it. He's giving Reeves a blow. He knows he's coming back. Ellis will slow it down. And Ellis has got to be a distributor, not a scorer. He's a distributor. He's battle, mark. Battle didn't get the foul that he was looking for. Or did he? 13 swing? Yes. You haven't seen it. <laughs> it's not. All right, let's see what Reed Shepard decides to do. I think he's going to start being a playmaker here. And one for Innocent. You're missing him right here because Kai Mitchell's coming back with four fouls. Dillingham, a steal. What a play. Rob Dillingham comes off the bench. He drops a dime for an AM1, and then comes over the steal and creates his own AM1. That's just because they can continue to grow and get a lot better as the season. Foul trouble is all on Arkansas' side. This one will be a foul on Kentucky. Mus has got to settle down. He's already got a technical. Oh, 
I didn't see uh, anything there, really. Well, so I okay, Wagner goes low. Gene Steratore is with us. Gino, what are they looking Who's probably going to foul out. I'll do that against Kentucky. Evo got them both to play in regulation. Brazil can pop. Brazil can pop for a three. Left hand off the window is no good. Dillingham the rebound and he runs with it himself, but he is fouled by battle. And that's going to be four on battle. To stop the ball in that area of the floor, you need to get back to the foul line area all day. But just recently, so it's come back off the bench in the last two minutes. Battle inside. Rebound comes off the Edison. Kentucky a chance to regain the lead. Behind the back by Dillingham. Up off the window and in. Rob Dillingham time. Five minutes to go in regulation. Kentucky by one. Behind the back. Here's a three-pointer way off the mark. But underneath, Davenport is fouled. Four at the strike. Calmly knocks it down. Our lead can change again on this, and it does. Yeah. Devo Davis on Reed Shepard. 20 lead changes in our game. Here's that matchup. Dillingham. A wild underneath, and a score. Sneaky pass underneath. He was into the rebound. Dillingham. Going through people, but fouled. Watch how they get up on the side of Gary, North Carolina, who's lit the crowd up. And get any bad shots. Great, great basketball IQ for a freshman. And now they're holding on to a lead of three points. Cal likes to use Dillingham in these situations. Dillingham, the lob to the big fella, and Z buried it. Z with great hands and great length. And a steal by Kentucky. Justin Edwards inside left hand. He'll go to the line. These are all freshmen making it. And a big steal. And gets a steal, finishes it with two free throws. Got one of two. And now the Razorbacks are pushing it. Davis leaves it for Davenport. And now another steal by Kentucky. Everybody's on the deck again. And Arkansas comes up with a loose ball and now going to have a foul on Dillingham. Who does not like the call? You guys are not. These two teams are combined. They're getting hurt a lot. They're getting hurt on Dillingham going downhill in there. I just switch it. Let them get twos. Here they go. Here comes Z in the middle of the floor. Dillingham up, oh. under, and around. That's incredible. It stops. This is an area where they've wanted to improve, and their defense is getting it done for them down the stretch. Dillingham, the lob underneath the big Z. Big Z. He finished the Mississippi State game on the road, and now Cal's got him at the end. The top's about to come off rough. A whistle and a foul. That'll settle things down a little bit. All these points have come in the second half. This is like, oh, they beat us on a mismatch, but they're killing them on the drop coverage right now. And back in the middle of the floor again. Here he Here comes. Devo Davis won't let him touch. Tough shot on the baseline by Edwards. Can't cover everybody. Arkansas did everything you could do there. And that jumper goes. Great answer. Come on, Mark, with 23. Still a two-possession game. Kentucky just got so many answers. It's going up. It's going in. Oh! Justin Edwards. Coming off his big game against Alabama. He looks the same as he did in the Alabama game right now. Nice look. Oh, but that one came out so oh, that hurts. Arkansas has got to keep their composure right here. One more stop before they got to start trapping or fouling. They might have to do a little bit more. Don't foul this late in the clock. DJ Wagner 
After this, if I was Arkansas, either way, I get a timeout, set up my catch-up game. And ball knocked away, but it's Kentucky basketball with nine on the shot clock. Dillingham for Kentucky. Inbound that time on the same play. Different guys, same play. <laughs> the exact same play. All Arkansas, Arkansas can do now is score quick, call timeout. But you got to go your catch-up quick. Quick scores, quick shots. Free throws won't help you. That Time will. Out. Time out. Uh, they're just going to play it out. 109, 100. Three timeouts. And now we're going to have a foul on battle from behind. That might be it for him. Yeah, I think Moss is conceding here. This is great teams. This team goes over 100 more than any of the game of the season besides the win against Duke. And, K and Kentucky just keeps their composure, grinds it out, and finds a way to get it done at the end. Well, after Kentucky put up 117 on Alabama last Saturday, I thought, I don't think they can do that maybe again. Well, I was wrong. <laughs> Pretty think, much the same thing here today. I think Kentucky's getting better, and Big Z is a big part of it. That's defensive big, but I think Big Z, one in the end that carries them. And a finish with 12 points. Great effort by Arkansas. Yep. Battle was great. Mark was great. Battle with 34 after 42 and 36 his last two games. And Reed Shepard will dribble it out or try to. And Kentucky goes to 21 and 8. What a game. I don't even know how many lead changes we had. We quit keeping track after a while. 111-102.